Okay, find the cost of 37 tickets, each costing £45. So this is a multiplying question, isn't it? Because we've got 37 lots of tickets. So 37 times the amount of the ticket. Okay, um, now one way to multiply okay, is to use the box method here. Okay, um, so what you do is you take the number 37 and of course you break it into it's tens and units, okay, so it's partitions, so you've got 30 and 7, and we do the same with 45, so that'll be 40, 4 tens, 5 units. And then in each cell then, in this grid, we just refer to the number above, um, on the top line here, and the number to the left of it then, okay, in this column here. So for this cell, you go above, you've got 40, and you've got 30 on the, the left, so 30 times 40, and that's easy, isn't it, because you do... 3 times 4 is 12, okay, and then there's two zeros to add on, so 1,200. In this cell then, you've got 5 above, 30 on the left, so 30 times 5, well, 3 times 5 is 15, and add the single zero that's there. In this uh, cell then, you've got 40 above and 7 here, so 7 times 40, well, 7 times 4 is 28, and add the single zero that, that's there. And then in the final cell, you've got five above, seven to the left, seven times five is 35, okay? So it's a case then of adding these up. Now, there's many ways you can multiply, okay? This is just one approach, okay? But when I then add these up finally at the end and then try and put them in order, okay? So I start off with the highest number, okay? Descend then to the lowest number line them up, align them so that they align to the right and then we're going to add these then. So let's start with adding the units, so I've got just got 5 there then add the 10, so uh, 30, so that'll be 16, will not it? So, so 16, so I do 6 carry 1, 2 and 2 and 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6 and then the 1 there at the end, so 1665. Okay, in B there are 24 cans in a tray a store has 744 cans in stock. How many trays is this? So this is a division question, okay, because we are given the total amount of cans that are there, but then those cans are divided into packs of 24, so we need to see how many packs there are. So how many 24s are there in 744? So we can do this by the bus stop method, okay? So what you divide by goes on the outside, Okay, um, and then you've got seven, four, four here. Okay, so we're going to break it down now. Clearly, set twenty-four does not go into seven, doesn't it? So I'm going to sort of start off here, really seventy-four. Yeah, so sort of carry that seven over here, and I've got seventy-four. The twenty-four goes into um, seventy-four a number of times. Okay, you might not know how many. So. What sometimes is useful is to just work out some multiples of 24 here. So that's obviously 1 times 24. 2 times 24, well, if I add another 24, I end up with 48. And then 3 times 24, well, if I add another 24, I get 72. Okay, now that's um, pretty close here, isn't it? Okay, so um, it goes into 74 then, 3 times, yeah? Clearly 3 times. But 3 lots of 24 is 72. So it goes into 3 times. But there's going to be 2 left over, isn't there, here? 2 left over. The remainder of 2. So I carry that there. Okay? And then, of course, then I've got then um, the 2 carried and I've got 24 here. Okay? So 24 then goes into 24 once. All right? So there's my answer, 31.